The Suryavansham family head Thakur Bhanu Pratap Singh is the Sarpanch of the village of Bharatpur. The people of Bharatpur respect and revere him for his blue blood and virtuous ideologies. Bhanu Pratap has done human service not only for the people of Bharatpur but also for those of the 18 neighboring villages in the district. The local police and administration also obey his orders in the matters of law. Bhanu Pratap lives in a grand mansion with his wife Sharda, three sons, Karan, Varun and Hira and daughter Urmila. One of his sons is an engineer. One is a doctor. While Hira, the youngest one, lives like a servant in the house because of his illiteracy. Bhanu Pratap hates him to the core. Hira is not allowed to be involved in familial matters and performs menial activities like cleaning, washing, herding cattle, etc. Although despised by Bhanu Pratap and treated worse than animals, Hira has intense love and respect for his father, making him a person with intense Stockholm syndrome. Hira is only loved and cared for by Sharda and Hira's close friend Dharmendra, Mindra. One of the servants in the house, Bhanu Pratap arranges the marriage of his daughter Urmila. A few days before the engagement ceremony, the groom comes to his house along with his uncle Ranjit Singh, a retired major, and sister Radha. Radha, a modern young woman, is unaware of Hira being Bhanu Pratap's son and makes Hira do various chores. On the day of the engagement, when Radha learns the truth from her father, she is shocked as well as touched. Subsequently, Radha develops an eagerness to know why Hira lives like a servant in his own house. Radha inquires Dharmendra about this. Dharmendra reveals Hira's past to Radha without Hira's consent. During his childhood, although Hira attended school, Hira wasn't at all interested in studies and often failed his examinations. He used to go to school only to meet Gauri, the girl who was adopted by Bhanu Pratap after the demise of her parents. Gauri and Hira were more than just friends. One day at school, a teacher thrashed Gauri, causing Hira to discontinue his academic studies. Gauri, however, continued her studies. Bhanu Pratap thought that Hira's company would hamper Gauri's studies and sent her to a boarding. School in the city, being separated from Gauri, Hira cheered up when Gauri came on weekends, during which the two met each other. Soon, Hira and Gauri turn adults. Bhanu Pratap planned Hira's marriage with Gauri. When Gauri learns about this, she attempted suicide but was timely rescued by Hira. Gauri told Hira that she would rather die than get married to the illiterate Hira. She revealed that she loved Hira like a pet animal, and never intended to marry him. Bhanu Pratap, learning only half the truth, thinks Hira only had lust for Gauri, which made her leave in disgust he was filled with more hatred for Hira than ever. Later, Gauri married another rich man while Hira continued to live a sad and miserable life. Radha, after listening to Hira's sad story, is overwhelmed with pity for Hira. On the day of Urmila's marriage, Radha proposes to Hira out of pity. Hira thinks that Radha is a loyal and virtuous woman and accepts her proposal of love. Deshraj Thakur is another landowner in Bharatpur who schemes to devastate his enemy Bhanu Pratapan. His family by making Radha his daughter-in-law. If Radha is married to Deshraj's son Arjun, Radha's lawyer father will do whatever Deshraj wants. In this way, he will be able to get ahead of Bhanu Pratap. Radha's mother approves of the alliance and asks Bhanu Pratap to make Hira move out of Radha's life. Bhanu Pratap gives two choices to Hira. He can either be with Radha or gain his father's love. Dharmendra convinces Hira to accept Radha as his wife saying only a fortunate few find true love like Radha. On the day of Radha's marriage to Arjun, Hira takes Radha away with him and marries her. This enrages Bhanu Pratap and he disowns Hira. Hira and Radha move into Dharmendra's house on the outskirts of the village and start anew. 
chapter in their lives. Hira gets a job as a laborer in a transport company. When Radha learns that her husband has been toiling to make both ends meet, she encourages him to start his own business. With the money lent by Ranjit, Hira establishes a transport company under the name of his father. Surprisingly soon, Hira becomes a very rich businessman while Radha successfully completes her I. A. S. Studies and is appointed the district collector in her home district. Our son is also born to the couple. Despite knowing that Hira and his family have moved up the social strata, Bhanu Pratap continues to hate them. Hira fulfills his father's dream of setting up a hospital for the poor. In the ceremony of the hospital's inauguration, Hira delivers a highly emotional speech, owing his success to his father, who he believes, has expelled him from home so that he learns to fend for himself. Bhanu Pratap attends the ceremony, disguised as a poor man, and overhears this, Uddharan Chene. While Bhanu Pratap reconsiders his life decisions, he accidentally meets Hira and Radha, as soon. After confirming that the child is his grandson, Bhanu Pratap and the child become friends and spend secret moments with each other. When Hira learns about his, he asks his son about his new friend. The child ruins a photograph of Hira by drawing beard and moustache on it. Claiming that his friend looks like this, Hira understands that his son is meeting Bhanu Pratap. Because he and Hira looked exactly alike, Hira hands some kheer over to his son and tells him to give it to his friend. Bhanu Pratap, when he meets him next, because Bhanu Pratap liked Kheer, Sharda also gets to know about it and urges her husband to accept Hira back into the family. Bhanu Pratap, suddenly hating himself for hating his son, rings Hira up. Before Bhanu Pratap speaks a word to Hira over the phone, he vomits blood and becomes critically ill. Bhanu Pratap is immediately hospitalized and Deshraj publicly holds Hira guilty of trying to kill. His father with the poisoned kheer. Because of his expulsion from the family. When Deshraj and his henchmen assault Hira. Thakur Bhanu Pratap miraculously recovers. Escape from the hospital. Arrives for Hira. S rescue and beats up the goons. Thakur Bhanu Pratap. Before the crowd. Lays bare the truth of the kheer which was poisoned by Deshraj himself with artifice. Bhanu Pratap and Hira fight Deshraj and his henchmen until Deshraj confesses his guilt and begs. Pardon from Bhanu Pratap. Uddharan. In the final scene, the kith and kin of Bhanu Pratap's family assemble in front of the family's grand mansion. Bhanu Pratap embraces Hira and the film ends.